Hey guys, just want to share a quick project with you. This is how to drive a seven segment display with an FPGA. This is a Spartan 6 chip on a mojo board. It's known as the mojo board at least. And we have seven outputs to the seven segments with these wires here and three inputs coming from three buttons. The three buttons are treated as binary numbers. The, the FPGA receives that binary number, translates it into a decimal digit. For example, if you hit the first button, you'll get one. If you hit the second button, so second button is two. So. 0, 1, 0 in decimal is 2. If you hit the third button, you'll get a 4. Because 1, 0, 0 in binary is 4. No. In order to implement this, we had to write a little bit of Verilog code. Basically, a single module. I'm not going to show you the actual Verilog code that I wrote because it is very specific according to which board you're using. If you are using the Mojo and you want the code, just let me know in the comments and I can share that with you. First, you're going to need to write a truth table with three inputs and seven outputs for a seven segment display. You're going to count up zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And these ones represent the segments that we want illuminated in order to give us that decimal digit. The decimal digit that corresponds with the binary value. In this case it's zero and we want all of them illuminated except G. Why is that? If you look here we've mapped the seven segment display and labeled it with the arbitrary name A, B, C, D, E, F. Zero is A, B, C, D, E, F. Forget the G. That's a zero. So this is our truth table. But in order to convert this to useful information, we'll need to convert it into Boolean logic. And to do that, you'll use a product of sums or a sum of products technique. First, for example, we took A. There's only two zeros. So we're going to map the two zeros and choose product of sums. Rather, product of sums requires you to map the zeros and because there's less zeros, we're going to choose product of sums. In a product of sums, you map these zeros, which is corresponds to these values, inputs, and you're going to complement the ones or invert the ones. So mapping this first zero, you see the values are 0, 0, 1, and we're going to invert that one. So B2, B1, invert B0. B2, B1, invert B0. These pluses are the Boolean symbol for OR. The multiplication is a symbol for AND. And this is product of sums. One sum, two sum, product of those two sums. Product of sums. And then we're going to map the second zero. We can see that it's 1, 0, 0. B2 inverted, B1, B0. B2 inverted or B1 or B0. And that gives us our segment A. And every time we want it illuminated based on our inputs in order to give us the right decimal digit. You can also do sum of products where you map the ones such as D 
has less ones, so it's less work to map them. You could do product of sums, but it's just more work because there's more zeros. So we map the ones and we complement the zeros. For example, D, the first one is zero, 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 so inverted B2, inverted B1, and inverted B0. And here we see B2 complement, B1 complement, B0 complement. Also, it is sum of products. One product, two product, sum of those. Remember, this is the multiplication symbol, which is and. This is the addition symbol, which is or. Okay, sum of products. Where you take map the ones, invert the zeros. All right. So once you have this logic all worked out, we're going to need to convert that into Verilog code. This is a simple, relatively simple Verilog program. You really only need one module. I'm not going to show you my actual Verilog code. Um, because there's a lots of there's lots of specifics according to which development board you're using, which FPGA you're using, etc. So here's that code, the module. It's called Display Three. This is the sensitivity list, and you just write all of it, all the inputs and outputs that you want it to be looking out for. Anytime one of those changes, it's going to recalculate. Down here, you're going to declare which are inputs and which are outputs. X1 and X0 in this case indicate our buttons. Now this is a simplified version. Um, the truth table I just showed you and the Boolean logic had to do with a three button input, which is what I did. This is an example, which is two button input, which simplifies it quite a lot. They did their own truth table and found that these values based on the inputs would give them the right segments illuminated at the right time in order to give them the right decimal digit so button one button button two or whichever way you want to look at it these are two buttons zero 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 one binary one is one binary two one zero is two and one one is binary three since there's only two inputs, there can only be four digits. Only four digits because two inputs, two to the four, two to the two squared is four. Okay. Now these are all continuous and simultaneous in hardware. It's not a sequential program like you might be used to with C. And anytime one of these changes, it's going to recalculate and give you a new output. Now you can tell how much simpler two inputs makes it when compared to this logic for three. It's not hard, it's just a bit tedious. And that will conclude this video. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer them in the comments. Thanks.